Here are the materials that you will need. A template, markers, sequins, buttons, feathers, bottle cap, gems, yarn, glue, felt, fabric scraps, scissors, a good pair of fabric scissors would be recommended, ribbon, a sharpie and a pencil. I will be taking fabric and measure it along the body of my template, marking it with the pencil to make sure that it is the perfect length. I will then cut it out. I will place it over my template and then draw out where the armholes and neckline will go. Once I have cut it out, you can then take your glue bottle and attach the fabric to the paper. Once the dress has been attached, you can then start adding any other details you want. I will be cutting out sleeves using felt. Make sure you measure everything next to your template to make sure it fits. And then glue as you go. I will be making hair for my template using yarn. So you will take several inches of yarn and then loop them over and over. You will then tie it together using a piece of yarn and trim the ends of the loops. You will then glue it to your paper. And now your template has hair. Now that we've done the basic shape of our clothing and we've added hair, we can go ahead and take any decorative items and start adding them. I will be making a purse for my character. So I am taking a bottle cap and a piece of ribbon for this strap. Keep in mind that we need to measure everything to the size of our template. So I'm measuring the ribbon against the body of my character and then cutting the piece to make sure it aligns. I will then glue the piece down And my template has a purse now. I will then start picking out anything that I want to add as a decorative accent to my clothing. Here I am picking out various pieces of sequin and I will be gluing them to the bottom hem of the skirt. Now I will add buttons. So make sure again place them where you want them, and then add glue and attach them. Taking some feathers now, I will be gluing them onto her feet to act as shoes or boots. I will also be attaching a feather to her head. Towards the end, once you've already attached all the clothing and items to your template, you can go ahead and color the background with markers or color pencils. 
So I will be taking markers and I will be adding a landscape to the background of my character. I'm doing lines receding into the background, adding blades of grass, and then I will be adding little flowers to those blades of grass. You can make the background anything you desire. You don't have to follow my demo exactly as you see. And here is the finished template.